It is uh, currently raining like hell outside, so in light of that, I have gone and enabled broadcast to run through my mic my microphone to run through broadcast to uh you know get rid of the sound of rain in the background so if uh, my mic sounds a little bit different that's why and it's also uh fourth of july or independence day whatever it may be called all of them are technically correct but today is that day so um you know i guess if you're British, then Happy Treason Day. And if you're not, then they just Happy Fourth of July, I guess. So, anyway, uh, first things first, uh, it's standard, so fuck my life. Second is I have this guy blacklisted, so there's that. Third is. There's only one radar, so that's fun. Shimakaze, Schultz, Kid, I outspot, and a Cossack. I mean, I don't outspot a Shima by much. It's like 0.1 of a kilometer. But, you know, it's there. So basically, I'm more or less tied with the Shima and the Cossack for concealment, and I outspot the Schultz and the Kid. So, uh, we're in a good spot here. And I'm also looking, I was just looking at my, uh, my mic, and oh, no, I'm also going to report this, uh, Shima for that. Apparently these guys, like they're, that entire family of clan, like they fucking hate uh, GGWP, which there was like this entire drama going on with them, but I'm, I'm not going to get too much into that, but basically uh, Yoshi went on there and just saw them talking a copious amount of shit and was like, went over there to laugh at them. And he, sh and he shared those screenshots with us, and I went over there uh, to their server to just see what was going on. And then I got, like, kicked off of it two hours later, having literally not even said anything. So, yeah, I mean, they're, they're a bunch of crybabies. So, honestly, I should start blacklisting them. But I'm not going to worry about that right now. Uh, right now, I guess my game plan is first of all there's an afk z23 over there or maybe it's just a late loader gotta i guess i'll give him the benefit of the doubt uh this stalingrad is going to be annoying to deal with his radars uh did get nerfed duration rise so it's not that bad he is flat broadside to the ismo though so uh, i guess we'll see what develops of that Here's the kid over there. And he's just... He, is this Ismo literally not even going to shoot at him? Where's guns pointing? Bruh. You absolutely fucking stupid person. Hmm. Those are a thing. And I also can't aim, apparently. I'm still being hard spotted. Don't you love the, uh... The German armor belts on those destroyers over there. Uh, four shatters, by the way. Alright, there's the Shima over there. He is locked bow in. So, actually, no, I think he's accelerating. So, I'm definitely throwing up my hydro. Uh, let's see. Don't there's that's definitely not going to be in hydro range because this is a three kilometer British hydro here. I do. I am going to have to be wary of the Stalin radar though. What I am going to do is I'm just going to put some torps off right here to cut from maybe cut off that uh, Shimas escape route. I think uh, it's going to be pretty tight, but. 
Oh, never mind. Alright, uh, just rip this to this shimmer. Unless I just flat out can't aim. And I'm not gonna be able to do anything because of the fucking Bismarck right there. There's unfortunately nothing I I couldn't just like chase after the Shima because of the fucking Bismarck right there. So I had to smoke up. Because unlike the kid and uh, other dis and some other certain gunboat destroyers, uh, Cossack obviously does not get a heal, and it rely it as well as most of the other British destroyers or pretty much yeah pretty much most of the uh, other British destroyers that's not Jutland or Daring, it does or Druid. Uh, it does not get uh, it has to rely on its smoke. Rather than heals for a uh, damage, for a uh, farming damage, so uh, and and also its survivability, because its survivability is more from its first of all its uh, detection five five. Uh, it's a very stealthy destroyer, the, at least in the case of the Cossack, and its handling with like the British acceleration and uh, turning, and also. That in combination with its uh, with its short burst smokes, and all of those are what gives it the survivability that it has. And I also can't aim, so there's that. Now you had that island there to block the uh, line of sight from the Bismarck and the line of fire as well. And also what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put some torps out way out like that. Because that Shim is probably going to try and fuck off at this point. If he has any sense whatsoever, he's definitely going to try and disengage. So that's what those torps are for. It's just going to be trying to uh, cut him off. Uh, when he try when he tries to go from his little smoke screen right there uh, and tries to retreat that way those torps are meant to cut him off as much as they can anyway and then there's also the uh, the little bit of a cross torp going on there with the uh, z23 torps so that's what those torps are for Unless he is still sitting in his smoke, which he's obviously not. I think he realizes he's dead. Yep. When that guy turned out like that, the way he did, that is 110% launching torps. So that's kind of why I turned hard the other way, and I didn't, uh, and I didn't try and be greedy and get all my guns to fire at him. Because doing so, if I tried to turn like that, or like what I'm doing right now, to try and get my rear turrets firing, uh, those torpedoes honestly probably stood a reasonable chance of killing me there. So. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait for this Bismarck to fire, like that. And now I'm just going to use his gun bloom to keep him spotted while I sit and farm him out a little bit. And I'm going to, I'm hoping I can try, maybe force a DCP from him. And if those torps land, that'll be a perma flood. Although it looks like uh, it's probably not going to happen. Those torps are may very well land, but I don't think it's going to be a perma flood. I think it's going to be a uh, a forced DCP from the torp hits. 
Well, only one. It's unlucky. I'm just gonna be greedy, and I'm just gonna open water. Although, open it, trying to open water at Bismarck in a uh, destroyer with no heals like the Cossacks, probably not the best ideas. I did get away with it, so... There you go. That Schultz is actually still alive, I just noticed. I mean, I probably should have noticed it, because he's a pretty significant threat being another destroyer, but... Uh, that Asu Yutland also got hammered pretty good. And those deep water torps, I think, stand a reasonable chance of uh, at least hitting that Bismarck. So, right now, I think what I'm going to worry about is trying to somehow deal with this Schultz, for one thing. I'm going to switch to the armor piercing for this, for that reason right there. I did take a nasty hit from the uh, Takahashi there. I guess that's just the life of uh, destroyers who open up in front of a light cruiser like that. Bismarck should be eating some of those torps. Oh no, they ran out of range. That's uh, unlucky. There's a Heisen Heisen thingy coming in here as well. Those torps aren't going to hit anything unless a Bismarck may... I mean, I guess they might hit the Bismarck, but I'm not going to count on it. That Cossack hasn't been spotted in four minutes, so he... If I face check him here, that could be problematic. Uh, let's see. I don't think that that... Uh, I don't... Okay, there's... That Z-23 is getting radared by the Stalingrad. He's probably not going to be very long for this world. There's the he's in... Is he going to turn all the way out is the question here. And it is looking like he is in fact going to do exactly that. Or he might try and sit bow in on the island there, which that's what those torps are going to be there to uh, to do something about. It looks like he is starting to turn out though. He might beach, but for right now, uh, oh no, he's gonna, he's definitely turning back in. I think. Maybe try and get a DCP force on him. I don't think those torps are going to hit, though. No, they're not. That's unfortunate. Just need to make sure I keep an eye on my smokescreen timer here. Yeah, okay, yeah, I'm not, I'm not firing that next shot. Kids down, so that's fun. That's fine, rather. Oster Yutland has torps out on the Heezen. So that Z23 is is still alive, by the way. After getting radared, like however f far away that whatever distance that was from a Stalingrad, that Z23 is still alive. So, uh, good on him. Those torpedoes might hit the uh, island hitbox, but I'm going to throw up my hydro because of Takahashi torps. And I think, now that I look at it, those torps might have been barely out of range. Or barely in range. Barely something, but uh, that's fine.
Uh, that's probably gonna force his DCP. Yeah. I'm gonna be careful of the Stalingrad, though. Yeah, there's the Stalin, just barely in uh, out of radar range there. And also that Heezen did also manage to dodge those torps, so good on him. He's really hugging that island. Do I want... where are these guns pointing? Okay, never mind, he's dead. And the Heezen guns aren't even looking this direction. So I'm gonna maybe try and ninja this kill here. Yep, like that. And the Z-23 is safe behind that island from the Stalingrad. Stalingrad's slowing down. Nope, he's accelerating again. And Stalingrad, also bear in mind, uh, if I can aim, that Stalingrad does eat full duration fires. So, if you can land a double permafire on him, that's uh, gonna do some damage. Well, Confederate, that's fun. Yep, there's the permafire. And there's the forced DCP. I'm just gonna wait for him to fire. And ooh, that's about to be nasty. Rip to that Stalin. Yeah. Would like for that, uh, stomp. There we go. Oh, and he is also running Crutch Netsov, so that's, uh, it's fun. Goes to Bismarck. Did take, uh, I think that was Cossack fire. And sap is a balanced ammo. So, in light of all of that, I am out of smoke, so that's fun. But honestly, uh, there's, unless, actually no, there's literally no way that that Cossack can win unless he kills like fucking f four of us in two minutes. Which I think the Delaware, the Castilla, uh, possibly even the, uh, even the Veneto is too healthy for him to kill, and he's only on half health. Yeah, he's, there's no way he wins this. Uh, his torps are expended. The best he can do is get a little bit more damage, and also, that's a KS guy, so, uh, onto the blacklist he goes. I just realized that, but, um, yeah, that Cossack is dead. Uh, that guy doesn't have radar. I thought those thing. No, it's Spanish. Never mind. It's the. Uh, it's not the Spanish cruisers. It's the. Uh, like I don't remember. I don't even remember what nationality are. But whatever the tier ten is line that ends in the San Martin, those things have radar. But uh, the Spanish don't. As, as you can, you know, clearly see there. So. Uh, really, the bet, yeah, I'm, and he's cutting away, there's no way I'm gonna get, I'm gonna catch up to him here. So, uh, he's gonna die, and we're gonna win, so, I'm pretty much a spectator here at this point. Uh, I'm just kind of here to exist, and, uh, be pretty. So, yeah. Uh, yep, there he goes. Anyway, uh, in light of that, it's also raining pretty hard. Uh, you might not be able to hear it because of broadcast, but uh, 
I'm going to get off before I get struck by lightning, and that guy played a really good game. Hot damn. Uh, good on him. But, anyway, that is going to be enough for today. Uh, to all of my fellow Americans out there, uh... Is have a happy Independence Day, 4th of July, whatever you happen to call it. Uh, if it's not raining for you, shoot off some fireworks or something. Unless it's going to scare somebody's pet, then don't shoot off fireworks. But, and also don't get rained on, so there's that one too. But uh, And to any British people out there who might happen to be watching this now or ever, uh, happy treason day to you. And to everyone else, uh, I guess happy Tuesday, I guess. But, uh, yeah. Anyway, that is going to be it for today. Uh, and go have a wonderful time with your families. Have a feast, uh, or whatever. Shoot fireworks or put, like, the color-changing shit into, like, a regular fire. I don't know. I'm just rambling on at this point. But I will see you to ramble on tomorrow.